Riley Besties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. Today I'm going to be talking about poetry and how I write my own poetry. If you guys don't know, I like to write poems and I do share quite a lot on my Instagram page. So if you don't follow me, um, definitely do it at underscore Anna New. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my own poems. So you get a taste of my sort of writing style. And then I'm going to be getting into how I write and sort of my process from my idea to actually writing the poem to editing and stuff like that. And it's quite a free process, but I think it's really, really cool to talk about. But before we get on, I do want to give a big shout out to Anna Luisa, who's sponsoring this video. I've worked with them before and they give amazing, sustainable, and also extremely affordable and very good quality jewelry pieces which are seriously so pretty like if you go ahead and actually look at the website you'll definitely find some pieces for you I was able to get these really beautiful earrings that are just really really cute and I just thought they were lovely and also I just got a really simple ring right here and this ring I have literally not taken off like it's so so beautiful it's still so good quality it's just a nice simple piece and they have beautiful simple pieces and I wear this in the shower and it has no wear or tear, no rusting. Their products are made for you. So I really encourage you guys to go check that out. Or if you want to get some percent off your order, definitely use my discount code. I'll have the links in the description and also in the pinned comment. So you guys can get yourself some amazing jewelry pieces. And I do think it's also really, really good to give as a present. I got this really cute um, little cat pendant necklace. For my sister Jess and she loved it and I don't think she's taken it off it's so so cute and I just thought it really suited her so if you maybe have any birthdays coming up or or you just want to get a gift for your loved one definitely do but anyways thank you so much Anna Luisa and um yeah definitely check them out but anyways let's go ahead and get on to my poetry process Okay, so here's my Instagram page. Um, definitely follow me again if you haven't already. And I'm just going to be reading a couple of my favourite poems that I've posted so far. And you can maybe get a gist of how my writing's like. And then I'm going to talk more about my style. I love his face. As if it looks at me. In the dark. No one looks at me. I wish for mornings and his hair. And I keep his eyes in the holes of my pockets because it's safe. There. In case his mouth says something. And he agrees to do it. To look at my face, to look at my face and see it. Obviously I'm lonely. <laughs> That's why I love poetry too. It's like a little snapshot of how you're feeling and like with books and of course I make writing videos and I write my own novels, it's a lot bigger and this is kind of like a small scope. But you're still able to have that creativity which I really really love. I want to hear someone cry and see the dove eat the crow. I dyed my hair black so you could see me better in the snow. I never believed there were monsters under my bed. Why would I look below when I know they're in the sheets instead? It's you, the crow, albino. And the dove isn't white but red. In the snow, in the snow, like a marriage conference. So that's a little snapshot of what my poems are kind of like. They're honestly kind of simple. And I think the ones I post on my Instagram, they're more so like, uh, readable when of course if I go over here I have my actual poetry book and this is extremely mine I I like love this so much this poetry book has all of my poems I've written since like ages ago there's so many like different mistakes and everything it's beautiful and this is where I basically actually write my poems. Okay so now it's time to talk about the actual process and how you yourself can also write poems like me. The first major thing is to be in the mood to write and this is very very important for me that if I don't feel like writing poetry I will not write poetry. Usually I write poetry in the night time when I'm in my fields when like I've kind of had a day where it's kind of sun setting and writing just seems like a really really nice way to get my mind off things and express myself and just like self reflect basically and usually I pull this book out when I have a it's really really weird it's hard to explain but I have like a thread of one line that inspires the first line of the poem. It can also be something like a certain term or a string of words. For example, Moth Wings, which is one of my poems here. I just had that little epiphany of a thought of moth wing and then I started to write a poem about it, about a boy with moth wings. And that's kind of like my train of thought. 
Usually something has to instigate it, if not I just let myself open the book and let the thoughts come to me. The next thing is to actually write in a book, of course as I said, get a poetry book. This is like supposed to be a diary, I don't know if you guys can see. I just try to write around three poems a day. I honestly do think like as a huge kind of objective tip that if you write consistently and you actually start writing poem after poem after poem, your poetry will get better. It's kind of similar to the idea, um, sort of what's it called, like rule where if you write a hundred ideas, your hundredth idea will be better than your first idea. Does that make sense? So I think like not only like have a physical book, but also like have it somewhere where you always be able to reach for it. Because of course it's so powerful just being able to write with your physical hand and stuff like that. And of course you can scribble, you can line things out, draw, I have some drawings in here which are kind of interesting. And just kind of write what you want to write. And you might ask what kind of helps me physically write and go through a poem and a stanza and the particular verses. How do I get through that? That's a good question and that is because my poetry writing has evolved from me writing poems to me writing poems for songs. If you guys don't know, I like to write my own songs. So basically when I write poetry, I write it in a song lyric style. And I guess that's kind of like my style of writing. It definitely has to not do that, but at least for me it helps me get into the rhythm and having consistency in your sort of poem, like the length and just like the way the words work and the themes within your words. But if you are struggling, definitely just think about it as a song. Another thing to do with that is to rhyme. I love to go to rhyme zone, like if I'm really struggling with one like line at the end of the poem or like before a stanza finishes and I'm just like, I have no idea what to do. Go to rhymezone.com and click on near rhymes. I honestly hate rhyming and not that like rhyming's bad, but more so just extremely like, like I hate rhyming words. That's kind of like me and T, like those two words. It's, I feel like it's just very noticeable. Instead of rhyming T with me, why don't you rhyme me with bloody? Does that make sense? So like these near rhymes are very powerful because it just like gives that punch that same sort of rhythm with the rhyme, but also makes it very loose and very like, ooh, that's cool. Cause like bloodied and me sound very similar. It's like a very like soft rhyme, which I think it maybe has to do with my writing style, but I think it's just really, really powerful and something that you should keep in mind with trying to find really, really interesting and abstract rhyming words with the word that you're trying to rhyme with. So don't say the cat sat on the map because it doesn't work like that. The next thing I do is to actually read my poem aloud or I usually like sing it of course because I write for I guess songs and I turn them into songs and poems but also lyrics so that's why it's kind of like really interesting. Sometimes I sing it, sometimes I also say it out loud especially when I am um, editing it and just like reading through it. Again, you can definitely switch out words, cross them out, scribble them out. But another objective tip here is to make sure you don't interrupt your rhythm of thought. The one thing that happens to me, and this kind of also has to do with the next step and the final step, which is that your writing, and I, I say this in a lot of my videos, that you're writing an idea and that idea will inspire the next line. And it's something that's very, and you get better at it. I feel like after you start to write poems and poems and poems, that as soon as you kind of have a trail of thought, it kind of just like goes and keeps going and keeps going. So don't interrupt yourself. Even if you're like, oh, I can't remember like a word, just like pick a random word and let your train of thought, train of poem, like whatever you want to call it, like let it flow. Don't stop it. And that's why reading it aloud at the end is where you can actually make those fixes. The last thing I do is to actually title my poem. You can tell that in all of my um, poems that I have all these different titles at the top of the page. And I think this is really, really important because once you've read your poem, usually I either pick like a line from it or a concept obviously from the poem to title it. So you can actually understand what your poem's about. You should see my captions on my like poetry posts on my Instagram page because like I literally don't know what to say. And sometimes, most of the time when you write poetry, you don't you don't understand what the heck it means. And that's the one thing that I think is really different from my way of writing poetry than other people's because I honestly just write and I don't know what it means. I write something and I can't tell you what that means to me, but it means something. And it's something that like, I know what it means, but I just can't express it. 
And that's why there's a poem there to demonstrate that. I just can't explain the poem. Does that make sense? That's why by having a title, at least you kind of have some idea. And it kind of just like marks the end of that poem. Because I honestly think that once you write a poem, you shouldn't edit it too much. Because the way that you've written it, it's kind of like an intuition that is a creative process in itself. That if you do change it, you're going to miss what you liked in the first draft and what that first sort of feeling had. Of course if there's spelling errors or like a rhyme that didn't seem very right or it was it was kind of off, you can change that but generally like the theme and the ideas like try to keep the same, at least that's what I do. And then of course I edit, slap it in a little post and post it to Instagram. Wow. The way I pick my poems is basically ones that I are kind of comfortable with, which ones that kind of um, stand out to me. There's lots of poems in here that I, I'm like okay, like it's kind of really interesting but I'm like mm, it doesn't really say much and usually that's why the writing and the meaning of words come together converge so it makes something unique and something that needs to be told and something that needs to be expressed that's when you find a good poem so that's it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed it definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because it does really help so so much and of course thank you so much for watching and being curious about my poetry and my writing process for writing poetry definitely follow me on instagram also if you haven't already i post so much on there also about my writing about project o about all of my novels and life updates as well so definitely check out my instagram page and again i think it's important just to write every single day and to be as consistent as you can with writing it definitely is a struggle sometimes to get particular ideas out on the page and particular feelings to like be able to express them in words and it definitely is really hard and that's why there's so many mediums of art there's like painting there's writing there's so many I, I can't name them all but just be patient with yourself and don't worry too much about your style or your different lengths like don't restrict yourself to a particular image of like poems like don't try to put yourself in a box just like write poem by poem so yeah thank you so much i hope some of these ideas helped and of course definitely check out anna louisa down below definitely go ahead and purchase some of your own jewelry pieces i really encourage you guys to go check them out because i wear their jewelry every day all day and they have such beautiful beautiful pieces so i'm sure you'll find something for you or your loved ones anyways guys i wish you luck writing your poems and if you want more poem videos definitely let me know okay I love you guys and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!